Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany and today we are doing another clothing haul because I just can't stop buying clothes. I mean, I'm not mad about it, so. So I thought that I would film, you already have seen the title of this video, so I don't know why I'm acting, it's all mysterious, but I am trying out cotton on for the first time. My dress is crossed out and everything, so we are safe. Well, I still probably blur it, probably, if I'm not too lazy but I made a purchase from there for the first time ever because I have always seen cotton on, but I have never gone in, never shots there, never nothing. I think I saw one TikTok of someone do cotton on, so I was like, okay, I'm jumping on. So I'm probably gonna make a TikTok version of this too, um, just a quick view version. If you wanna just see the quick TikTok, I'll put it down below. But for the full in-depth review, that is this video. At this moment, I still haven't unpackaged it. She is packaged tightly. So I'm just gonna do a full in-depth review, especially I'm titling this video for mid-sized girls. I am typically a size 10 to size medium slash large, depending on the brand. Um, and so I just wanted to see, because I feel like I've only ever seen skinny people wear cotton on. So let's get into it. So first, packaging. It says new stuff is the best stuff. Honestly, I love that they put something. Majority of brands never ever have anything on the bag whatsoever. So I like that they even thought to like try and put something. This is random. I don't know why this just came off of it. I don't remember how many things I got. Oh, that's a little return label just in case. So I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I bought eight things all in the size large because I think size large was like based on the sizing guide that was the correct size for me will it be correct we don't know and I remember I don't remember the exact total but I spent around $88 I'll be including the price of everything I'm pretty sure I had a coupon or something like that so just keeping it real with you because I usually will only purchase if I have a coupon I've found that about me okay where to start where to start I'm gonna do the same thing that I seem to do with like every single clothing haul is that I'm gonna show it now and then I'm gonna show it later again with me having it on. Okay, well the first thing I guess I'll just start with because I can put it on right here. I bought a bucket hat. What does it say? Does it say the price is here? No. I have never once owned a bucket hat before. It was one size fits all. What do we think? Am I pulling this off? I kind of like it with the right outfit, not this top. I don't know. I can't tell. I'll definitely put it on with one of the outfits that I actually try on to see if it's really cute or not. <laughs> Did mess up my hair a little bit already. And then another thing was packaged with it. Oh, a couple things. Very interesting that like they were all shoved in this one bag. This is a top that I bought. Oh, it's very wrinkly. I not used to that. I feel like most brands don't come really wrinkly. You can see. Can you? No, you really can't see, but it is pretty wrinkly. I got this like flounce top. It's called the, sorry, I'm just reading the tag in the back there. Um, this is pretty basic. I noticed that Cotton On was like known for their basics and this was just a cute tie front top and I wanted to try this out because I really like the tie front tops. I just feel like I always have issues with them because of my boobs, but it has this like cinch part in the back, so I think it's gonna end up fitting nicely, we will see. This is the first top from the package. I really like it, other than it's wrinkly because now I have to iron it, but I actually love it. It's like a perfect fit on me, which is really great, and I actually feel like there's like a little bit of support on the boob area. I'm not wearing a bra right now, so I might have to censor it out. I don't know if it's like really see-through or not, but I actually really like this top, and it's really pretty and I think it's family appropriate too which is great because I feel like always there's always too much cleavage in this style top so this one is a thumbs up last thing shoved in this bag I did convince myself to buy a bathing suit because it is almost summertime and this one was like really really cute it looks really big if we're being honest wait a minute I got this bathing suit and it ties here. It's a one piece and then it also ties here and then the bottoms are high waisted. I definitely think I'm going to like this, I hope, and it's just a fun 
material. It's really, really hard to show if I don't have it on. So hopefully it looks cute on, I don't know. Okay, I was so nervous about the swimsuit, but it's actually super, super cute. I'm not gonna be showing, but the butt coverage is just enough that it is family appropriate. So we're very happy about that. And it's very appropriate in the front too, but still exposing skin. And the great part is this unties, so you can tan this whole area and not have a weird town line, which is great. Next, I think this looks more red than the actual picture was. Oh, I'm already... It's just like a really, really basic tank top, but oh my god, it is so soft and like comfortable. It looks like the ruching material, but like it doesn't feel itchy or scratchy or like the annoying ruched material. I don't know if that makes any sense, but she looks so cute. But for this to be a large, I feel like it should have been a little longer. The straps look really long, so... I don't know, there may be some kinks with that potentially, but I love the color. Okay, this top is so cute. I love this color. It fits really nicely. The stretching is really nice. It's like not too tight. I always feel like I have that problem. However, the straps are too big. A quick fix for this is you can just safety pin the excess on the back because they're not adjustable. I'm gonna have my grandma fix it for me because she sews and everything, but I would still highly recommend this. It's so cute and the color is really nice too. I bought this, oh wow. I bought this just basic crop tank. It's actually a really structured material. It's actually way nicer than I thought. I feel like with Shein, like this top from Shein, like it's great, I love it, but it's a very like simple material where this one has like structure to it. It's like a little thicker and I think the color is beautiful. I'm trying to get like more neutral colors in my life. This is like a beautiful like almost like light blue gray. Oh, it's nice. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna like that a lot. Okay, I am absolutely obsessed with this. This is a 10 out of 10 right away it's such a structured material and it's like longer here i've always had this issue that like crop tanks come right here and i just i don't like that and this is perfect and it fits so good and i'm literally going on cotton on to buy more because i always have issues with my boobs being a slightly bigger girl having it fit good man i've got a lot of items for a good price i feel like for 88 dollars, getting all of this is actually really good I got this, oh, I hope I like this on me. This was kind of out of my comfort zone. I never buy tank tops like this. It's like a high neck, just tank, um, a basic tank. I just thought the color was really pretty. Honestly, I think I purchased it because I needed to hit free shipping if I'm thinking about it. Um, but I love the color, I think it's beautiful. And I saw in the photo, I think the girl had it tucked into her jeans. So I hope I really like it because I don't really wear long stuff on my body. Okay, this is the next top. I think it's super, super cute. Again, it's another like perfect fit. The side like tucked in super nicely. So it fits really, really well on me. I definitely think I would still wear a bra with it and I like it more tucked in. I have it folded up right now. And then here's the bucket hat. I think it's so cute. I'm FaceTiming my friend Nicole right now. I have AirPods in so that like, you guys don't hear the sound, but we both agreed that the bucket hat is super cute and then I pull it off. So this is also a big thumbs up. Last top that I got. I'm finding that like the packaging has like different feels and stuff like that. I'm also so confused why three of the items were packed in one bag. I mean, it's definitely reducing this extra plastic, but at the same time, like, why weren't they all like that? Ooh, ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, ooh, I think I'm gonna love this. Hopefully it covers my titties. That would be nice. I think it's pretty. Okay, here is the next top. I love this one too. It's definitely a little on the shorter side. I would definitely say if you have boobs any bigger than this, this top is not gonna work for you. And I will say it's a little less supportive. I do feel like the sleeves just constantly wanna fall down. I mean, you definitely can wear it both ways. I'm feeling more of having it up. But I definitely think this is so cute, but this one definitely needs a bra, cannot go on its own without it for sure. 
but I still think because especially because I wear high-waisted jeans all the time this is like perfect and so cute for the length of between if you want to just show a little bit of skin again another thumbs up I'm really happy with cotton on tops this is the item I'm the absolute most nervous about I bought a pair of jeans even though it's going to be summertime I really wanted to get another pair of jeans that had no holes in it because at my job you can wear jeans on Fridays even though I'm not in the office right now eventually I will be and you can't wear shorts so I bought a pair of another plain I think they were mom style yes they're mom jeans so I wanted to get a pair that had no holes and hopefully I like it it's a little swimmer at the waist and wider out which is I guess how mom jeans go Listen, I'm really nervous for these. I hope, I just hope that they fit, if we're being honest, because my size has been all over the place. Jeans did not fit. Happens. Okay, so first impressions of cotton on, everything is beautiful. The material actually looks like good material. I think their price point for what I spent, I think is way better than some brands that you're gonna find for the quality that it's at. I feel like this is almost like verge girl what's another brand like that those kind of brands like the boutiques that are popular right now i feel like it's that quality but a little cheaper of course i can't speak me right now to how they fit for a mid-sized girl so i'm gonna throw it to me in the future okay guys my final review based off of my first impression compared to now is still just as great i love cotton on so much i will be purchasing more of that crop tank sad that the jeans didn't fit Honestly, it didn't even come close to fitting, so if you're going to get their jeans, size up more than what even the size guide says. But I absolutely loved this. I loved everything. I'm so, so, so happy with this purchase. Kick it back to me. <laughs> so yes, that was my honest. Would just like to point out that this is an honest, in-depth review. I'm not being paid to say any of this, obviously. So if you guys like this video, I hope you will subscribe, and I will see you in future clothing hauls, of course. Bye.